Hi guys, today we're making mini pancakes. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see, we're doing 10 to 14, two cups. This is one cup. Let's just go ahead and, so we have one and a quarter cup of water, metric 300 millimeters. I think I'm saying that correct. But, um, just add that in. Then we'll scoop out two cups of pancake batter, or whatever, depending on the type of pancake batter that you guys have. This is just a simple thing you can do on the weekends. I actually just got out of school, so something that I wanted to do. I need to make some videos over winter break. I just got out of school, so I wanted to do something fun um, for my YouTube channel. I am going to start a cooking. Okay, I really don't know how to pour um, the box. Box, just an FYI. But I'm starting a cooking series. We already have something in the oven that I will show you later in the video. Darn it. So hard to pour from the box. Okay. Okay. Just pack it down a little. Okay, that's about a cup. Nothing's exact so far. Okay, let's just do this. so much easier. The oven is ready and it wants pancake batter to be put on it. Okay. And if you'll come with me, I'll go grab a whisk. kid baker. Baking's fun for me. Okay, should be good. Put that to the side. And I think we're good to go. Let's just, hold on. The bind mix. Okay. Yeah, we're good. So let me just grease the pan. Okay, I don't know if this is the safest thing to do, but the method I've learned to grease the pan, dip it in butter, hold it up here, dip it in butter, and I get a little more butter. Kind of gotta soak it in. I had to get my mom to come help me because it's gas. <sighs> Classic me. Yeah, get a little more. Okay. And it's our first pancake on the stove. Come in for a couple more. Oh, darn it. Oh well. Eh, we'll clean it up. I usually get about four at a time I'm when I'm using... What What type of cup is this? What type of cup is this? A quarter cup. Okay. I usually do like four at a time when I'm, I'm doing quarter cups. I've done it like twice before with quarter cups. Uh, mini pancakes and huge pancakes are what I like to do. don't touch. As you can see, they're not all the same size. I'm just gonna level out this one. And now we just gotta let them cook. <sighs> Grab the spatula. Oh, we're, we're gonna have to get the casserole out. 
Wow, that is golden brown. Just cooked to perfection. Okay, these are the best pancakes. This is the best pancakes that have ever turned out. Usually they're either really brown or really light. This is actually, ooh, I'm excited. Got a little quiche on there. Speaking of quiche, in a second, here, come on, let's come over here. My mom just made this amazing quiche. I did help, help a little bit, but it was totally her. Mom, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> and back to the pancakes. It's just gonna take a minute for them to bake. We just turned the oven on, so it's gonna take a little while. Let me see if I can get that piece of quiche. I feel like I'm doing surgery. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> I banged it a little too hard in the sink to get it off. Whoopsie. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, guys. Ah! Burn myself. Baking 101, never touch the hot pan. <clears throat> Clean that up later. Probably should wash this out. Usually when I try to get liquid off stuff, I just put it over the hot thingy. Wait, I made sizzling water. Okay. Darn it, I'm gonna burn the spatula. No. Let's just check it. Eh, needs a little more time. Just a little bit. Ooh, good idea. Thanks. Yeah. Th thank you, cameraman. My cameraman just told me that two of my pancakes were touching. I did not see that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna skip to the end and do the whole fancy platter. I'll see you in a minute. Quick surprise announcement. This is the first episode in my new cooking series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another cooking video. Okay, so this is how it looks. I think I did a good job arranging them. See you next time.